we're rolling with Stella, the DIY diva. Crafty Lux Design. Girl, did you make that? I sure did. And I'm going to show you how you can make it too. Hi, this is Stella with Crafty Lux Designs, the DIY Diva. I love that part. Uh, anyway, I am here this morning um, to show you how to add resin to your uh, gravel patio, gravel flower bed, uh, things of that nature. Um, the purpose of adding the resin is so that the gravel will not move. Um, when you walk on it, uh, you don't want to be kicking rocks. Um, when it rains or when we have a bad storm, you don't want the rocks blown all about the place. So this video is going to show you how to apply the resin so that you will have a perfectly usable patio area or flower bed or wherever you choose to put your pea pebbles or um, your small gravels. Um, so let's get at it now the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to make sure that your gravel is level so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just take this broom and i'm just going to sweep across the gravel use your feet to move like higher high spots but you want to sweep across the gravel gently and make sure that it's as level as you can get it Doing this will ensure that you won't have any dips or anything um, in your gravel, in your patio. Um, this is especially um, important for when you're doing the, um, the, the, the gravel patio. Not so much as for the uh, flower beds, but you kind of want to get that as level as you, as you possibly can too. But it's not as important because you won't be walking in those. But this here is just taking the broom, take an old broom. This is what we had like years ago. So now we just use it outside. Um, we use it outside one time and then I was like, no, we will not be using that in the house again. So anyway, <laughs> so you're just taking the broom, rubbing it across the gravel just to get it as level as you possibly can. So I'm gonna finish this up and I'll be right back. Whew. Now that I have all of that done, there's one important step that I forgot to mention. While you're leveling out your gravel, you wanna make sure that you take out any debris that you may find in your gravel. Doing this will ensure that you have a clean slate and once your gravel resin sets you won't have any leaves or uh, dead grass or anything like that it's permanently set in your patio um, gravel area because if you leave that in there it will become a permanent fixture so now that i have um my gravel all level to my liking you know it doesn't have to be perfect but is perfect for me <laughs> so now that I've taken care of that it's time to wet it down and let that dry that's very important because the resin will not set properly if the gravel is dirty when gravel is purchased out of um, the stores uh, big box stores Home Depot Lowe's wherever you get your gravel from it comes in a bag and once you take it out of the bag, it's wet in the bag, but once you take it out of the bag, it dries very quickly and there's like this film of dust that's on it. That is what we want to get rid of. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my water hose and I'm gonna put it on a shower setting. Um, we have a, a connection on there um, that has different settings for it. So I'm gonna put it on a shower setter. You don't want it to be too strong because of course then it will move the gravel. So I'm gonna put it on a shower setting and um, I'm gonna soak the um, gravel pebbles so that all of that dirt will just go to the bottom. 
It's going to wash all of that dirt away, that dirt and that dust away. And once it dries, we'll be ready to apply the resin. Be right back. So as I said, I'm just going to take my water hose and I'm just going to lightly spray over the gravel so that so that it can get completely saturated and again I have it on the shower setting so that it will fan out and not be too harsh to the point where it moves the gravel this should not take very much time at all just make sure you totally saturate the gravel with the water. And once that is done, we'll be ready for the resin. As you can see, this is like watering your grass basically. You know, but we want to get a really, really nice coating of this water on the gravel. Because we really want all of those pebbles that are up under the top layer to get water on them as well. So, I am almost finished. Now that I have totally saturated the gravel patio area with water and rinsed off those pebbles, we will be ready for resin, to apply the resin as soon as it dries. I'm here in hot Texas, so I'm pretty sure it won't be too long <laughs> before that gravel dries. So I will be back to complete this DIY as soon as the gravel dries. Be right back. It's been a couple of hours, so the pea pebbles are completely dry. One thing I want to iterate before you put the resin down is to make sure that if you have any areas that you do not want to get the resin on, um, such as pavers that you may also have in your um, gravel patio area, like I have, I would suggest that you mask them off. Um, either you can put, uh, what I did was I cut out pieces of cardboard and taped them onto the top of the, um, on, onto the top of the pavers because I do not want the resin to get on, onto that. I have plans to do something else with the top of my pavers, which is why I'm doing that. If it doesn't matter to you, then, you know, by all means go ahead, but you really don't want to waste any of your resin on the actual pavers because they're not going to move anyway. Um, but it doesn't matter if they get a little bit of overspray just in case um, you're spraying around it, um, on the gravel around it. Um, so if it doesn't matter to you as far as, as your pavers or whatever else you may have within your gravel landscape, um, then albeit don't bother um, taping it off. Um, so with that said, let's get at it. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to start around the perimeter first, and then I'm going to work my way inward. What I am using is a compression sprayer with the um, nozzle on a, the, the spray um, setting, which is kind of like the way that I did, that I watered. Um, the, the pebbles in the beginning. So, what you do is you just start it and you get around the edges. And you saturate it as much as you possibly can. And like I said, you, you want to work along the edges first and then work your way inward. Now, as you see, I have these um, pavers.
flavors here that I covered up because I do not want to get any of the resin on the papers. Again, because I have plans for the other papers, which will be another DIY. Um, but, you know, just constantly, just in even strokes, go back and forth, back and forth. Work around the edges. Now for this size of a patio, which is approximately, um, I believe it's 10, 10 by 10 maybe, it's going to take about a gallon of resin. So you want to constantly just work it in as much as you can, go over it twice, go over it as many times as you, as you like until all of your resin is gone because then you'll know that you have saturated everything enough and you have gotten it down into um, the crevices and to the layers down below. Fairly easy process. Again, it's pretty much like watering your grass. Now the pressure on this is gone. So all I need to do is turn this and pump it. Turn it back and we're good to go. Just as simple as that. as I work my way over to this side, running along the perimeter. And you also, you want to make sure that you do this on a day that's not going to be windy because you want total and complete control of the sprayer. You don't want the resin to fly all over the place because then you'll get you know, areas in your grass that you don't want to have in there. So make sure that it's on a sunny day. Well, it doesn't necessarily have to be a sunny day, but as long as there's no wind and you don't want there to be any rain in the forecast for at least the next 24 to 48 hours, because it's going to take 24 hours for this to cure. But after 24 hours, you can put your uh, furniture, your, your, your patio furniture back on here and, and totally enjoy it like you're walking on concrete. So this is going to take me a little while. So I am going to, I'm going to finish and I'll be right back when I'm done. So I have finished putting down the resin. And as you can see, the gravel now has like a wet look to it. That is the look that it should maintain once everything dries and solidifies. Now is the time that you can look over the gravel and see if there are any spots that you kind of want to even out a little more. So what I do is I just, you know, I have on old gym shoes, so it doesn't matter to me what happens to these. But you can use a trowel, if you like, and just kind of, you know, you have, you have the opportunity right now to go through and just tap down those spaces that are a little bit too high um, and that you weren't able to see uh, when it had that film over it. So now that it looks wet, it's really easy for you to see where the little humps are. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go through this section by section and just kind of tamp down on those spots that are a little high. So I'm going to do that all over. I don't have very many, so it's just a matter of finding them, tamping them down, and moving to the next spot. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Um, as I said, it's going to take about 24 hours for this to completely cure. 
and before you're able to put your furniture back on um, the patio. One thing you may have noticed is that I have taken off all of the coverings that were on my um, pavers. The reason that I did that is because if some of the resin was to have gotten on top of the covers and the tape and you wait until tomorrow when it's completely dry, guess what? Part of that tape is going to be a permanent fixture on those pavers. So you want to pull those up as soon as you're done putting down the resin um, so that you won't have to sit and sand and try to get that out. It's a totally tedious activity and it's a total waste of time. So once you're done laying your resin, spraying the resin out, tapping everything down, make sure you pull up those um, protective covers uh, for your papers or whatever else it is that you did not want to get resin on. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment at the bottom. Thank you. Bye. We're rolling with Stella, the DIY diva. Craft Deluxe Design. Did you make that? I sure did. And I'm going to show you how you can make it too.